Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yep. It's me again, Valiant Star, and yeah, I'm actually here for a video, I know. It's, I don't even know when the last time um, I made a video, but yeah, here's a video for you guys. So, basically, <coughs> excuse me, um, this is just a video to update people on what's been going on, why have I not uploaded videos, um, just stuff like that, because people have been asking, and some of you already know, if some of you used to, if some of you knew me in-game, or knew me personally, you, you you would know why. But I'm just going to say it here for people who don't know. And I know that there's a lot of subscribers that are that really enjoy my content. And thank you for that. I keep saying that many times in all my videos, but it's true. Um, but this, unfortunately, the sad thing I have to say is that I'm probably not going to be uploading any more Maple Story videos anymore. In fact, this is probably the last ever Maple Story video that I'm ever going to upload, unfortunately. Um, basically, over the past couple of months, I've just not been enjoying myself. I just didn't enjoy MapleStory the way that I used to. A lot of my friends have stopped playing. They've all moved on to other things, real life things, and I'm sort of like that now as well. I'm at university. I'm in my second year now. Um, just trying to do what I can to work hard and study and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, because of it, I just don't have time anymore, uh, really, to play this game. But not just that, like I said, I'm not really enjoying the game anymore, and because of that, I just didn't have any motivation to keep playing. I mean, I achieved all the goals I really wanted to do, which was solo all the bosses, get, get to a point where I could do a shit ton of damage, you know, stuff like that, and I was happy I managed to achieve those goals. I've met wonderful people along the way, on my journey, and yeah, it's been a great experience, but there just comes a time where you have to think, I have to just stop and just end it, because I can't keep playing this game forever. My life goes on, I have to do other real, real life things, and yeah, that's what I've decided to do. I'm sorry guys, I know there were so many people to you, I've, it's, it's, it's unbelievable how many subscribers I have. For something I just wanted to make for a bit of fun, just to see if I could help any of the guys in the community um, who are struggling or may not be as familiar with Maple Story as I have. I've been playing this game for almost seven years now, ever since pretty much the year it was formed in Europe, I guess. And yeah, and thank you guys for sticking with me for this long. But I just want to say some. Just want to say some thank yous to people because there are people who I've known through these seven years that have really made the game that I loved so much more than just a game, you know. I've made so many friendships, I've made so many memories on this game that I just can't express my words of gratitude to these people. So obviously, a big thank you to my guild Labyrinth, obviously, the guild I'm in right now. Um, I joined them pretty recently, but... And then I quitted right after, which was a bit of a shame, but I've always been a big fan of Labyrinth. I've had friends in this guild way before I even joined this guild. And yeah, they've been just so welcoming, they were so warm. Tota, you've been a fantastic leader. Yeah, there's so if I was to list all the list of people, this video would go on forever. I'm going to try to keep it short, but I don't know. I don't know how short that will be. I'll see what I can do. Um, Solaris, uh, one, of one of the top guilds of MapleStory, or they used to be anyway. Uh, most of them have quit now. There's maybe a couple people still playing, but those guys were awesome to me. They were like a second home to me. They were family. They taught me a lot of things, such as bossing, learning how to, you know, do stuff for myself, like marching and just making messos and just stuff like that. And they were just a good bunch of friendly people, friendly faces. They always knew what to say, how to support each other. They really were a fantastic group of people. And it's a shame that they're all gone now, but like I said, they're like me, we all have to move on sometime, right? Other guilds such as Symphonia, another family guild. Um, what I loved about Symphonia was that it, they were just a guild that never really, I guess, they never really cared about what other people thought. They always liked to do their own thing, just trying to have fun, support each other, and try to be the nicest people they possibly could, and I loved that about them. You know, there's always that thing now on MapleStory that um, 
it's all based on oh who does the highest damage, who does this, who does that, who achieves this, who has the most metals. And yeah, it's a good thing to have a maple story, but sometimes you just gotta like just sit down and relax and just have a chat with people. That's what I love bits and forty. They were just there to just really speak and just be there for you, and that's what I loved about it as well. Uh, there's Atomica as well. Atomica, great people as well, great leader, great friends, people from Symphonia who moved to Atomica, yeah, there were people like that, they're fantastic. Uh, my boss uh, group, because I had a boss squad, when I before I was able to solo Magnus and Vellum and other Chaos Rubis guys, I was with a boss squad. Pam, you know who you are, thank you so much for being who you are, I guess. I always looked up to you, and I was—I always wished that I was always as strong as you. I never did get to that level, but you were just an incredible friend. You were just a funny guy in general. I loved you, man. Best of luck for the future for you as well. Um, Julia, I, I don't know if you still play. I think you do. You're, you're still in Labyrinth. You know who you are as well. Thank you so much for everything as well. Being supportive of me. Being the friend that you are. We've had our laughs. We've had our fun. Thank you so much. Uh, Bass, you know who you are, Bass. Another Dark Knight as well. We both had our conflicts, we've had our rivalries, but at the end of the day, you're still a very good mate. I'm happy that I've been able to play with, play alongside you, boss alongside you, and yeah, it's been fantastic as well. Um, Lila, one of the sweetest and nicest people I've ever met. A kind soul. You always never cared about what other people thought about you you always did your own thing you always made sure what was best for all of us and thank you so much you were an unbelievable friend there's probably so much more i could probably say but this video is going to go on for long and long and long um and yeah if in case you haven't i did get a new mic so that's why i sound so much clearer than i did in other videos because i do admit i did sound pretty shit in other videos no offense but yeah um I'm sorry guys, that this it just had to end like this. And in case you're wondering what's happened to all my equips, yep, they're all gone. So I've, I've sold them off or given them away to close friends that maybe still play the game and would have more use for them. So I'd, I, I decided to give them away instead of just keeping them on my account because I just sort of felt that there was no point in just letting them rot on my account and it was probably better for other people to use them to their max potential. And I'm glad that they are, so yeah. So obviously the stuff I still have are just uh, my untradeable things like my emblem, my medal, my heart, which is still my favourite item and it will forever be with me, forever, which is an awesome thing. Um, nothing left in my inventory, I've got some cash up items, um, all this stuff, yeah it's all gone, no mess, was nothing. So yeah, it pretty much is, That that's pretty much it for me. Um, apart from that, there is other things I want to say. Obviously, there probably won't be any more Maple Story content on my channel anymore. But I still want to maybe, just maybe, use this YouTube channel for other things. So maybe I might start uploading game videos, like gameplay videos of other games I might be interested in. Obviously, a lot of people have used subscribed for Maple Story content, and obviously, I can't provide that anymore. So don't worry, I won't be offended if you just decide to unsubscribe or you just decide to just never watch my stuff again that's okay but yeah i might continue with this channel with by uploading other videos other games that i enjoy playing currently um yeah i might do that it depends if you guys will enjoy it or not. if you don't then so be it i'll still leave my other maple story videos up just in case you guys still want to look back on um Anything like any tips that are still valid because I don't know if maybe I don't know how much Maple Story has changed. I mean, it's been five, six months now since I last uploaded the video, and a lot of stuff's changed, so I don't know if it's all relevant anymore. But if it is, then keep watching them because I'm happy that as long as it's helping someone out there, then I can't, I, I'm, I'm happy. So I just watching my old boss videos from time to time is cool, I love it. So I don't really have anything else to say, so. All I can say is thank you very much, guys, for being here with me, for letting me enjoy such a wonderful game and great memories, and for the very last time, or is it the last time, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you guys, and peace out. See you.